Okay, we're heading out. Here's our sweet water sign. Nobody behind us. It's just us. Alright. So there's cows over there. We already know she's been with cows. Okay, fine. So see that rock over there? All the horses always think it's some uh, dragon that's going to kill them. So she got scared, her head went up, she went backwards, she didn't spin or anything, but she got really scared. And since she's a brave horse, I got off, because that way I'm going to walk her up to it, and she'll feel safer with me on the ground, because she knows if she runs, I can't run as fast, so the object will kill me and not her. Okay, but she's still being good, but she did want to go back home. So I got to put the phone down so I can walk her up to it. This is just for education. So she's closer to it. She's still scared. The nice thing about mares are they are brave. So she's checking it out. So she went forward on her own. I didn't even ask her to go forward. So she wants to check it out if it doesn't kill her. So I'm going to shut this off. We'll probably get a little uh, closer, but every time we get closer, the object looks different. So they have to turn their head and look at it. And you can see she's not ready to go by. You can see the whites of her eyes. So she'll tell you when she's okay with it versus not. And you see her head going up and down. She's not trying to eat grass. She's actually trying to use her vision to help her see what the heck is that thing. And why would Gay get on the ground? Is she an idiot? It's going to eat her. So you can see in her whole body position, she's still very nervous and a lot of people would want to beat the horse and make them go up to it. I want her to be curious and brave. So I'm going to let her sit here for a minute and then I'll let her go closer. But uh, all our horses are usually good and we can get them over anything because they trust us. They know I'm not going to get up there and beat her uh, just to make her go up to the object. Okay. So I don't know if they taught her this. So she thinks she's supposed to go up to it, which is good, but she's petrified. So she's trying to run by it, run backwards, do all this stuff. She should, from all the training you've done, just slowly go up to it, be scared, but not be running all around. Yep. Good girl. So from now, whoever takes her, if she's really scared, just get off. Up, you know, a rein that you can unhook so you can stand and let her get used to it. But you'll see the rock's right there now, but it still to them looks like a, a crouching predator. But we're gonna get up there. Let's see, now she just wants, she's like, I'm by it, let's just go. You don't wanna just go. You, you gotta get them over it so when I come back, she's not scared. So now you'll see the rock's right there. Now she's just eating grass, so I'm going to stay here for a while, even though I'm on their property. <laughs> um, to let her get used to it and realize, you know, if, if there's an issue, I'm going to help her get through it. And I'm going to protect her and help her so she gets braver. But for a four-year-old horse, she did great. This is normal. Somebody has to get them over this stuff. And she got up here actually pretty quick. Now we're past the rock. There's the house. There's the rock. Now I'm back on. Now she's actually, because of the excitement, this is her flat walk for now. See her head go up and down? She's walking out. She's not pacing. She's doing really good. So we're going to go out on the trail a little bit. So now we have more rocks right there. So I saw them coming. She didn't see them. So I got off because I know she's going to get up here and be a little scared. Boulders look like crouching predators. People don't get that. Logs look like that too. So in the beginning, they're right to be scared. They only live once and they know that. So she's looking at this with her left eye. She's not looking to run home, which most everybody probably thinks she's getting ready to go, get her head around. She's not, she's looking, okay? Now she's putting her head down. So she's changing her vision to check it out. Yep. Now I got her, so she can't run home if she tries. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is slowly try to get closer to this. She's hiding behind me. Good girl. See, now she's checking it out. Oh, she's like, oh, it's, I think it's a rock. I think it's that thing you showed me before. But I want her to stand here and look at it. 
So the next time she sees boulders, she won't be as scared. She still might be scared, but it shouldn't be as bad. Oh, now she doesn't care that much. So now she's right up on the boulder. That's a good thing about like alpha mares. If they're curious, then they want to see it. So she is brave. She just doesn't know yet. So she's like, hmm, oh, that's just a rock. Boy, was I an idiot. I hope you didn't videotape that. So I'm gonna let her look at all the rocks. Each one might be a little bit different. Of course, I'm looking for snakes first. So we got a barbed wire fence. So I'm careful that she's not too close to talk about it. I got a narrow thing that I gotta go through. So she's a baby and you know, I'm not gonna put her at risk because that could really impale us. So I'm gonna stay on the ground and walk her through this. Remember, smart cowgirls do what's right. You don't just beat the horse up and try to make it go through this and kill both of them. Okay, okay, so now we got through that little opening. What are the sights and sounds she's eating, which is good. This is very brave for a horse being out alone. And she's only known me a month, less than a month. Now that part, she went through a little fast. So we're going to walk through it again. Because we don't want her to think, oh, it's tiny. Run through that. See how she went through that a little fast? Hard to videotape all this. That was way too fast. So she ran through this. So I just made her go through it a bunch of times, ah, ah. and I'm making her stand here for a couple of seconds. Don't let them run through things or they will run over you. Okay, it's self-preservation. So we're coming through again. I'm not just doing this once. Hey, I have that hooked on the side of the bit, so it's hard. So now she's walking through, but she wanted to run through this. Hey, and I'm always protecting myself first. I have a stick. So I can use that if I need to. Good girl. But I want her to walk through that slope. Good girl. So now we're going to go down the trail. Now we're back on. We want to walk slowly down all the hills to keep her on her back end. And we'll get pacey or they learn to pace down the hill. Okay. So she's doing good. And then we'll go up a ways. Um, stop take a break and then turn around and go back because you're trying to make it uneventful and a good ride and a happy experience for her okay so this is moving out on the trail now we're headed back home back up towards that um, entrance so she's doing good I'm gonna make her walk a little faster good girl so that's gonna be her flat walk a lot of rocks right here. She's doing good. And we're just trying to keep the same speed and the same rhythm so she gets to practice her walk. We don't want to keep changing speeds. Okay, now I gotta ride some. Okay, so we stop, so the gate's up there. I'm gonna walk a little further and then get off and make sure she'll walk through it nicely. And then uh, and we'll walk home. But it's nice and relaxed that she can stand on the trail. And lots of horses won't do that because nobody's practiced that with that. She'll never be rushed. Okay, good girl. Okay, so see now I got her standing in that small area that she wanted to rush through before. Um, you gotta make them do everything calmly. And a lot of people don't want to ride with sticks or anything to help them. And a lot of times those are the people who get run over. So, you know, if you gotta do it 20 times so she slowly steps through there, you do it. If you gotta hit her with the stick in the chest to back her off, you do it. Because if you don't, then they learn to run people over and knock them over. And sooner or later, somebody's gonna get hurt. Okay, so Swindy, she's fine. Sorry, my flat bike can only do so much with this phone. So we're heading back up towards that um, rock, the flag's flapping, she doesn't care. If we get up there and she gets real scared of that rock, I'm going to get off and walk her by it again. It's not a big deal. But if I did a decent job, she might just walk by. 
I'm going to put the phone down because I have to be safe first and then we'll see what happens. Remember when you go on the trail backwards and it looks different to you and you get lost even though you went the other way and we're fine? Well, same thing. Everything looks different to this horse. Now we're going a different direction and that's why I tried to walk her by it a couple of times. So she's calmly looking at that rock. But she's not scared like she was before. I don't feel her heart beating and she just walked off by herself. I didn't push her because I want her to take her time so she can trust herself and she can trust that I'm going to help her when she has issues. Now she's got a little ants here. So you're going to breathe, relax yourself. Good girl, what good girl. You talk to your horse. Look, she's like, oh, if I go over there, she gives me grass. So there's the rock. That was petrified of the rock just walking by it. So I'm gonna stop because she did good. Oh, I like to give cookies, you don't have to, but I'm gonna give her a cookie and we're gonna finish walking home. Okay, so now she's stopping to look. There's cows up there, and we got those weird bee boxes over here. Now she's not doing anything. You gotta read your horse. So are they getting scared? Is their heart beating? Are they snorting? Are they running backwards? Or are they just standing here looking at it? So she's just standing here looking, so now she just walked off. See, I didn't even tell her she chose, like, oh, I'm okay now. So you want to stay relaxed on their back, not be videotaping like I'm doing. Have your hands wide and be sitting back, so if they do decide to spin and run the other way, you're okay. So again, she went further. Now she's assessing the situation, like, is this safe? Are those really cows or are those monsters? Mm -hmm. So she's a pretty brave horse, so we're trying not to scare her, let her take her time, and just get used to being alone, and I'm on her back, not on the ground, and then she's okay. So see, she walked off again, and we're heading home, so she's not barn sour, she's not trying to run home. I don't know if she saw these boxes coming the other way or not, so let's see if she looks at that. But remember, when you have a nice horse, somebody did all these things with them. Somebody rode them past the stuff the first time. Somebody did it right. When you have a horse that's scared and antsy or it won't go down the trail and you're kicking it and it's bucking and it's rearing, somebody did it wrong. That's a sad thing. You know? Or if it's a horse with not the right temperament for a trail horse. You know, this horse has a great temperament for the trail. She's curious. She's going to have awesome gait. She can flat walk out here. And she's still learning to carry herself, and that's very normal for a gated horse. So now we're going to walk through the, um, I don't know, whatever it's called. It's going to be a gate someday. But the, all the horses look at this stuff. So she stops and looks. It's fine, but she did look on the way out, but she didn't spook or try to run away. This kind of weird with that thing sticking up. She's totally fine. And we're heading home. So you can see she's not far and sour. She should rather actually stay up here than go back to her stall because she's that kind of horse. Yeah, but for her first ride out to this barn after being at this barn for a month, she did awesome. Okay, so now we're almost Back. But this pond scares a lot of the horses. Birds fly out of the bushes or they're diving into that pond. So I loosen the girth here, not back at the barn, because I want her to like being wherever I put her. And we're going to let her eat some grass and just watch what goes on with this pond. So that way she's not nervous about it when things are flying in and out of there.